So I've finally gone and done it. I've only gone and got myself a new PC, haven't I? Uh, welcome everybody, my name is Rocco. Uh, this is my YouTube channel and I appreciate you stopping by and taking a look. Well, yeah, I started planning a few months back. Uh, ordered early in November 2020 and it finally arrived. Four weeks later, just a few days ago. Uh, and I'm buzzing, I really am. Uh, in truth, I've probably gone a little bit over the top with it, but uh, I had a little well-timed circumstance arrive on my lap a couple of months back that basically allowed me to add to the, the money that I'd already saved up so that I basically had a free hit at something at the, the very top end. Uh, what I've managed to do is to, to bag myself a Ryzen 9 5950X CPU with 64 gigabytes of memory uh, and the important bit, of course, when it comes to DAS 3D and iRay, and that's an NVIDIA RTX 3090 graphics card. Uh, as I said, a little bit over the top, but... Well, eh, you're only young ones. Uh, now, my previous system, I'd been working with a GTX 980 Ti, uh, and it had got to the point where it had started screaming at me like a banshee, you know, when I was doing something that uh, was pushing things a little bit in DAS. And I was often hitting that, that VR, the, the VRAM uh, limit as well, and having everything drop to CPU. Uh, but fortunately now, you know, with 24 gigs on the 3090, I probably won't hit that wall anymore. Uh, so yeah, upgrading to this 3090 has been a little bit of an eye-opener, uh, and in truth it, it renders like a bat out of hell with its ass on fire in truth, if, if you're being honest about it. Uh, but how fast? Well, this last few months when I've been rendering images, uh, on those times I've remembered at least, uh, I've noted the number of iterations and the time that it took to render the image on my 980. Uh, and now that I've got the, the 3090, I've, I've re-rendered those images to the same number of iterations so that we can compare the speed increase between the two. And that's what we're going to have a look at today in this video. Uh, now, whatever your current graphic card may be, and you know, let me know down in the comments what you do have and if you are planning to upgrade yourself, uh, you should be able to compare yourself somewhat to the 980 Ti uh, and then see what type of speed improvements you could get by upgrading to a, a 3000 series. Now again, I'm not expecting everybody to, to go running out and, and buying a, a 3090 because it is in the silly realms of price, you know, let's be honest. Uh, but even the 3070 or the 3080 and even the 3060 Ti that's, that's just been launched, you know, probably going to give impressive results to your renders. Uh, if you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe, hit the little notification bell down below so that you don't miss any more Daz 3D videos in the future. And without further ado, let's have a look at the time comparisons and I'll see you for a little summary at the end. See you in a moment.
And so when we take a look at the summary of those six images, we're seeing speed increases in the range of 7.2 through to 13.2. Now, I'd seen a few benchmarks on the 3090 before I'd received my own, uh, namely on the benchmark thread on the DAS 3D forums, actually. Make sure you check that out. Uh, and I was estimating, based on those benchmarks, a bump in the render time somewhere in the region of 6 or 7. But as we can see, I, uh, I kind of underestimated that. Now... If I think back to when I was setting these, these scenes up, it does seem that those with more geometry, that's where we're seeing the bigger speed bumps, which kind of makes sense because that's when the RT cores uh, within the Ampere card start to kick in and, you know, when there's more complex scenery in the scene. Uh, even if it doesn't actually look like it in the final image, the bigger speed bumps generally have more geometry, i.e. There's, there's fully enclosed rooms uh, that are off camera compared to those that are in the lower end. Uh, so yeah, I kind of underestimated that, but uh, I'm not going to complain. Uh, if you found this video interesting and informative, then please give it a like and, and share it about so that others get to see it, and that will help me out big time. Uh, likewise, as I've, as I've already mentioned, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell down below, see that you do, uh, so that you end up getting buzzed when I do drop another video. Uh, I will be looking to do more videos, incidentally, testing out the 3090, so try not to miss them, yeah? Uh, and finally, if you have any questions or comments about this video, don't forget to let me know your set up down below for instance then drop me a line in the comment section and i'll get back to you as soon as i possibly can thanks for watching and i'll see you next time i'm off to play bye bye now